In this video, I will consider one numerical on circular convolution. Determine circular convolution of x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and h of n is 1, 1, 1, 1 using FFT algorithm. Use Radix 2 di of FFT method to find DFTs and DIT FFT to determine inverse DFT. So in this problem, two sequences are given x of n and h of n. We need to find the circular convolution between those two sequences. Here we should use FFT algorithms. To find FFT of these two, we should use DI of FFT algorithm. And to find inverse DFT, we should use inverse DIT FFT algorithm. So here we have to use the Stokamps method. In Stokamps method, first we have to find the DFT of both the sequences. So the circular convolution between x of n and h of n is represented like this. Let this be z of n is equal to x of n circular convol convolution with h of n. Here n value is equal to 4 since it is having 4 samples. So in Stokamp's method, first we have to find DFT of sequence x of n. That is the DFT of this is given by x of k the dft of this is given by h of k then we have to find the product of these two that is z of k will be equal to h of k dot h of k then we have to find inverse dft of this that is inverse dft of this is represented by h of n is equal to we have to find these values so this is known as Stokamp's method. So here to find x of k and h of k, we need to use di of FFT algorithm. And to find inverse DFT, we need to use IDIT, IDIT FFT algorithm. So first let's calculate x of k and h of k using di of FFT algorithm. So this is the signal flow graph for DIF FFT algorithm. Here the given values are so x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 1, x of 1 is 2, x of 2 is 3, x of 3 is 4. Here we can observe that the input sequence is in regular order. The output DFT is x of Z are in bit reversal order. So let A of 0, A of 1, B of 0, B of 1 are the intermediate outputs of the first stage and X of 0, X of 2, X of 1, X of 3 are the DFT of the given sequence X of n. Now let's calculate A of 0, A of 1, B of 0, B of 1. So here W4 of 0 will be equal to 1 and W4 power 1 will be equal to minus J. Let me calculate A of 0. So here we can observe that A of 0 is X of 0. Look at the signal. X of 0. Another signal is X of 2. So A of 0 is X of 0 plus X of 2. So I can write A of 0 is equal to X of 0 plus X of 2 which is equal to so here x of 0 is 1 plus x of x of 2 is 3 which is equal to 0 is value is 4 so a of 0 is equal to 4 now let me calculate b of 0 first because these two are having the same inputs only this sign will be minus so let me calculate b of 0 so b of 0 will be equal to x of 0 minus same that is x of 2 whole thing is multiplied with here we have w4 power 0. So it is multiplied with w4 power 0 which is equal to we have 1 minus 3 w4 power 0 is 1 which is nothing but 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So b of 0 value is minus 2. Let me write here. Now let me calculate a of 1. The inputs are x of 1 and x of 3. So a of 1 is equal to x of 1 plus x of 3 which is equal to so here x of 1 is 2 x of 3 is 4 that is 
2 plus 4 which is equal to 6. So A of 1 value is 6. Now let me calculate B of 1. Inputs are same. Only sign will be different. That, that is B of 1 will be equal to X of 1 minus X of 3. This whole thing is multiplied by total factor W4 power 1. That is W4 1 which is equal to X of 1 is 2 minus 4. W4 power 1 is minus J. So this is minus J which is equal to this is minus 2 minus J that is 2J. So B of 1 is 2J. This is 2J. Now let me calculate X of 0, X of 2, X of 1, X of 3. So therefore X of 0 will be, now I can write x of 0 is equal to a of 0 a of 1 that is a of 0 plus a of 1 a of 0 plus a of 1 which is equal to a of 0 is 4 a of 1 is 6 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 let me calculate x of 2 so x of 2 is a of 0 minus a of 1 x of 2 is equal to a of 0 minus a of 1 which is equal to four minus six which is equal to minus two. So similarly let me calculate x of one. So we have x of one is equal to that is b of zero b of one that is b of 0 plus b of 1 which is equal to b of 0 is minus 2 b of 1 is plus 2j similarly x of 3 is b of 0 minus b of 1 which is equal to and here the value of w4 power 0 is 1 so anyhow its value will be same so i can write minus 2 minus 2j So therefore now I can write in proper order it can be written as x of k is equal to we have x of 0 is 10 x of 1 is minus 2 plus 2j x of 1 is minus 2 x of 2 is minus 2 and x of 3 is minus 2 minus j2. So thus we found x of k and this is the starting sample. So we found x of k value according to Stokamps we have found the x of k value. Now we are supposed to calculate x, h of k. So h of 0 values are 1, this is also 1, this is also 1, this is also 1. Now let me calculate again a of 0, a of 1, b of 0 and b of 1. So a of 0 is equal to h of 0 plus h of 2. We have h of 0 plus h of 2 which is equal to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. Now let me calculate. So a of 0 is 2. Now let me calculate b of 0. So here we have b of 0 is equal to h of 0 minus h of 2 multiplied with the twiddle factor value which is w4 power 0. That is w4 power 0 which is nothing but so it is 1 minus 1. So anyhow it will be 0. So b of 0 is 0. Now let me calculate a of 1. a of 1 is h of 1 plus h of 3. a of 1 is h of 1 plus 
h of 3 which is equal to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 similarly a of 2 will be equal to a of 1 is 2 b of 1 is so let me calculate b of 1 it is h of 1 minus h of 3 multiplied with twiddle factor which is equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 so b of 1 value is also 0 now let me calculate h of 0 to h of 3 so here h of 0 is we have a of 0 plus a of 1 that is a of 0 plus a of 1 which is equal to a of 0 is 2 plus 2 which is equal to 4 now let me calculate h of 2 h of 2 is a of 0 minus a of 1 multiplied with the total factor that is h of 2 is equal to a of 0 minus a of 1 multiplied with total factor that is a of 0 is 2 minus 2 so anyhow it will be 0 so here h of 1 is b of 0 plus b of 1 h of 1 is equal to b of 0 plus b of 1 so b of 0 is 0 b of 1 is 0 so entire value is 0 similarly h of 3 will be b of 0 minus b of 1 b of 0 minus b of 1 again this will be 0 so therefore now I can write h of k as therefore I can write h of k is equal to we have h of 0 is 4 h of 1 is 0 h of 2 is 0 h of 3 is 0 so this is starting point so we have we found h of k So we found x of k and h of k. Now we have to find z of k. Z of k is equal to h of k dot. Sorry, this is x of k. Z of k is x of k dot h of k. So let me calculate z of k. We have z of k is equal to x of k dot h of k. That is z of k is equal to. We have x of k values are the values are in common in column that is 10 minus 2 plus j2 it is minus 2 then we have minus 2 minus j2 h of k values are we have 4 0 0 0 these are h of k values so multiply bit by bit that is we have z of k is equal to 10 into 4 is 40 this value uh, all three values are 0 so remaining all three samples will be 0 so we found z of k now we have to find the inverse dft of this z of k so that we will get z of n so that z of n is the circular convolution between x of n and h of n now we have to find inverse of this z of k using idit fft algorithm so here z of 0 is 40 rest all values are 0 so now let me calculate a of 0 a of 1 b of 0 b of 1 so a of 0 will be equal to so this is the idit fft algorithm here we can observe that w4 power minus term will come minus 0 and minus 1 here it will be minus 0 minus 0 and the output of second stage should be multiplied with 1 by 4 so this is the changes in idit fft algorithm now let me calculate the intermediate values first a of, so let me calculate a of 0 a of 0 is equal to z of 0 plus z of 2 z of 0 plus z of 2 which is equal to 40 plus 0 is equal to 40 
now let me calculate this is 40 b of 0 so b of 0 will be b of 0 is equal to v of z of 0 minus z of 2 multiplied with twiddle factor w4 power minus 0 that is 40 minus 0 is equal to 40 so b of 0 is also 40 now a of 1 is z of 1 plus z of 3 a of 1 is z of 1 plus z of 3 which is equal to 0 plus 0 is 0 similarly b of 1 is also 0 because it is z of 1 minus z of 3 which is 0 so this is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 now let me calculate z of 0 z of 2 z of 1 z of 3 so here z of 0 is 1 by 4 into we have a of 0 a of 1 that is 1 by 4 a of 0 is 40 plus 0 which is equal to 10 now let me calculate z of 2 that is z of 2 is equal to 1 by 4 into a of 0 minus a of 1 into multiplied with total factor that is w4 power minus 0 which is equal to 1 over 4 so here we have 40 minus 0 is 40 itself into total factor value is 1 which is again we will get it as 10 only so z of 2 is also 10 this is 10 this is 10 so z of 1 is similarly z of 1 is equal to 1 by 4 we have b of 0 plus b of 1 b of 0 plus b of 1 which is equal to 1 by 4 40 plus 0 which is equal to 10 similarly z of 3 is equal to we have 1 by 4 b of 0 minus b of 1 multiplied with twiddle factor value minus 0 it is minus so it will be 1 by 4 again 40 minus 0 into 1 which is equal to 10 so therefore now I can write z of n as z of n is equal to we have z of 0 is 10, z of 1 is 10, z of 2 is 10 and z of 3 is 10. So this is the circular convolution between x of n and h of n which is nothing but z of n all sample values are 10, 10, 10, 10. This is the final result. Thank you for watching.